I am Josh Baer, and this is The Hammer Auction Insights. The first episode of The Hammer Auction Insights was a bit of, of a flex on our part. Yes, we had a lot of people, Wimbledon champs, Da Vinci salesmen, Christie's vice chairman, world-class art collectors, best-selling authors. But in just over 20 minutes, we showed you the depth of experience that the Hammer Auction Insights will provide in the future. You're probably wondering, who is this Josh Bear? What's the Bear Facts? And what's the Hammer? Well, the Hammer Auction Insights grew out of my inability as an art market correspondent and publisher of the Bear Facts to be actually in the auction rooms. Now, who am I and why is that important? Well, for the last 40 years in the art business, I've been an art dealer, a gallerist, a reformed one, and an art advisor. 25 years ago, I started the Bear Facts newsletter, and I've been covering the art market ever since. So the hammer is the way for us to get auction data from the people who are really involved in the art market. Our first show has been chock-a-block with great art world participants from Pace Gallery, Mark Klimcher, collector John McEnroe, Swiss Beats, a great patron of the arts, and many others. I'm a sports fan. The Hammer Auction Insights is seen as a bit of the NFL today for the auction market. In our post-game show, right after the Christie's Global One sale, chairman of contemporary art at Christie's, Alex Rotter, was joined by world leading dealer, Dominique Levy with galleries from around the world for an immediate post-game analysis. Beyond the art market, we asked the question, does art matter? Particularly in these trying times of race relations and the coronavirus pandemic. That's what we addressed with Mark Glimcher of Pace, collector John McEnroe, and patron of the arts, Swiss Beats. Well, that is a very heavy question to throw at us at first, uh, and, and, and an extremely difficult one to answer. I mean, art is, is something for me that's always given me a great amount of pleasure. Uh, being a professional athlete, uh, back in the day, uh, the greatest compliment I ever got was when people called me an artist on the tennis court. So I've had, always had a soft spot for artists in particular, not so much the art dealers. Um, uh, <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> I don't know. I had a throw Ouch. Up there. Look, art is a byproduct of being human. You don't have any human civilization that never had art. Um, it is both a necessity for us to create, and it is a gift that a few of us have. Um, art is a way that we communicate and connect to each other. Art has always been important, especially when you're going through confusing times and sad times and trying times, I think out of all of this is gonna come so many new artists and the artists that we already know, I think that it just made them go, and go back in and charge their batteries up again. In our next episode, we will preview what the fall auction market will be like. We will have leaders of both Sotheby's and Phillips to discuss it. And our correspondent, Sarah Thornton, will be talking to a major art world collector to get their input on maybe the non-auction part of the art market. The Hammer Auction Insights wants to hear from you. What are your questions? What are your comments? Hit us by DM and let us know what we could be answering for you. Thank you for looking back at the Hammer Auction Insights. We look forward to joining you again in the near future.